of Caesar, great women of Pengasan, great women of Sargog, great women of Foptop. Um, women, what it then means is that we have not just come to gather to eat, to dance, and go back to our homes and our offices. We have come out to listen, to learn, to unlearn and be better people. Whatever you learn here, please do yourself a favor and do a, your constituency a favor. You can also replicate this in your units. You can replicate this in your branches. It is very simple. You don't need anything big. That's the minimum. And the team of today is Breaking Frontiers. A team that is carefully crafted, very essential, for the journey of women in the world that is constantly evolving. The world is changing every day, taking dynamics in every nation. Few years ago, our mothers don't know what is called food. They only communicate with birds in the olden days. But right now, we have our telephone. You stay in Nigeria and you speak to somebody in America. Technology has changed a lot of things and women have to be put to speed to follow the trend. We cannot just sit back and everybody will feel when it comes to high tech in ICT, they will say the women cannot be there because they don't know it. It is time for the women to come out, challenge themselves and develop themselves. Because when you are educated as a woman, Education is not just reading your book and getting a degree and becoming a doctor. Education means when you understand the onions of your life, which are the rules, the constitution, and the guide that you need to proceed, that you need to grow, that you need to stand. When a woman knows her right, you cannot take her down. When a woman understands herself, you can't bring her down. That is what I want today, to encourage each and every one of us to stand on that gap and understand who you are. Here we say, we have come to reflect on our progress. You know, sometimes you make a progress, you think you have gotten to the end. No, there is a lot more out there for you to do. But when you discover yourself, you keep moving until you get to your destination. I don't want you to feel you're low, you're down, you're short, you're black, you're fat. I used to tell people, yes, I'm big, but I make the slim to envy me. Yes. I make the slim to envy me sometimes. I, I remember some time ago, a lady in my office met me and said, eh, Ma, I want to be slim, though I'm slim. But whenever I see you, I feel like adding weight. <laughs> I told her you will not understand. That brings us to the pain we also go through in the inside. Maybe I also want to be slim like her, but she did not understand. But when you understand yourself, you carry yourself with dignity and integrity. You walk with your shoulders high up. One thing I like about a national mama is where she walks. I admire her from the back. Because she walks and you feel the presence of a woman coming and you know that this is called an unapologetical woman. A woman that apologizes for nothing is a woman that understands her rights. Like I say, we are breaking barriers with the view, navigating the challenges that have hit her to hinder the women's folks of all worlds. Ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that breaking frontiers encompasses a lot, ranging from mental health to politics, education to happiness and business to personal growth and development. Lisa, you spoke so passionately about um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, violence against women in every form. Do you have any particular work plan within the FCT to help victims? 
Right now, on my own, like I said, this is the Made in Edition, which is the first one. That is why this Breaking Frontiers um, Summit comes about, uh, is being created or comes about, so that women can understand themselves, creating awareness for the women. This is one of the plans, but we are going to develop more of it as time goes on, so that women can know that there is somebody they have to meet or there is somebody that is accessible. The problem is that there are women we have in leadership that are supposed to or ought to by now be taking care of some of these issues but they make themselves are unaccessible. So I want to use this opportunity to tell them to make themselves available and give a listening ear to these women because if you hear their cry, it even it encourages them. Like today, I believe so many women are seated here today that will be encouraged, that will change their motive and their narrative of how they feel about themselves. This is episode one of them getting to know themselves because before you stay away from domestic violence, you need what is called discovering yourself. Today's meeting is for the women to discover themselves. Once you discover yourself, you can do anything. But when you don't even know yourself, you're living in the shadow of yourself, you cannot get there. So today, first and foremost, we are creating awareness for the women to know that they can shatter all the glass ceilings and they can take charge of their life, of their passion. They can be anything they want to be. Thank you. My paper was presented based on the three E's that talks about the energy, environment and the economy. Uh, you know, it is obvious that women need the energy if they want to break frontiers. And the energy in this context is the skill. You need the skill, you need to also understand your environment, you need to also add value to the economy. So this is the summary of why three E's are important for women to break frontiers in any ramification. Activities will be improved looking at this summit. Yes. Uh, the activities of women can only be improved when you give them opportunity you give them opportunity to develop themselves in the area of training in the area of education that there's no barrier to training and there's no monopoly of knowledge if the opportunity is there for them they can further their educations and become somebody greater than what they are today like this is an avenue for me to develop myself and to know how to conquer my world do you think that indeed in your workplace women are being discriminated, especially as a young person climbing the ladder? Of it life? depends on the the person you meet. It's not everybody like everybody has a, a take on how they see um, a certain individual. So I feel it's just a perspective of a person in of, of a person. Okay. Aside this summit that is being held today. Can you highlight other implementation or empowerment program that the union has put in place for women to elevate them and help them create these frontiers? Okay, um, that's we have actually done so much. Um, to mention but a few, um, we've actually gathered women, you know, empowerment. We've been um, going from one place to another, especially women from the grassroots to train them on some skills, entrepreneurship, on what will equally help their lives. Because it's only when you are financially free that you'll be able to stand for yourself and speak for yourself. So we as union have actually championed this course to make sure that no woman is left sitting and feeling that I can't help myself. We have to make sure that every woman, no matter how small, we can start with a small scale and then enlarge it to a big scale. So what we do is go into the society, identify all those people which we feel have nothing to stand with and then you know, show them um, support to be able to carry on with their lives. We continue to protect our children and secure their future.